Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impulse 35. We are live right now in Hartford, Connecticut, and this limo has just pulled up, and we assume right now in that limo is the Impulse General Manager, Goku, who suffered a very serious attack with his son, the Impulse Champion, Gohan. And there he is, the General Manager, Goku, making his way to his office. Wait a minute, who's that? Holy crap! And Dennis and Chiaotzu. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Hakeem Johnson, your ACW commentator as always, as we are on the road to no boundaries. But let's talk about what we just saw before we aired the year live officially. Goku, coming out from the limo, made his way uh, sooner to the office of his general manager position, but also along with him, his own wife, Gohan's own mother, Chi Chi falls right beside him, right behind him. And I have no idea where this is going to lead tonight, but this has just escalated this tension between Goku and Gohan even further. You guys saw the video package of what happened last week of Gohan making that vicious assault towards Goku, bloodying his own father and attacking him several times to the point where I even had to cut off myself from commentating any further of the show because I had enough. Cause that, to me, that's just wrong for someone like Goku, your father, to bring you in and teach you everything he knew. Yeah, he had his transgressions. Yeah, he had his mistakes. But so what? Not everybody's perfect. But apparently, Gohan doesn't see it that way and felt the need to attack his own father. And I have no idea what the consequences and aftermath will come out of it tonight. But I can assure you that there are going to be a lot of things that is going to make Gohan have some hell to pay come his time, and I promise you that. Ladies and gentlemen, we will talk more about those issues as we go through the whole night here on Impulse 37, but we're going to start off with some Cruiserweight action between Chowtu and Dennis. Dennis, a former number one contender to the Cruiserweight title, didn't get his chance, lost his chance at winning the title from Joe Agashi at Apocalypse, then you got the returning veteran in Chowtu making his mark here, trying to make his mark here back in the Cruiserweight division after being absent from ACW for a good six years. So this should be an interesting matchup between these two. Who will be maybe next in line for the Cruiserweight title? As you, everyone knows, Kaio Atari is the, now the new number one contender and will face Joe Agashi at no boundaries for the Cruiserweight Championship. So both men are trying to impress here and see who will be next in line, if you will. Chao has a front headlock. Oh, and a spinning wheel kick by Chaozu onto Dennis. And now Chaozu will Irish with Dennis. And a nice drop kick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go on. What the hell is Go on doing? Go on just interrupted this opening contest and, and now he has the mic. What is the meaning of this? Man has lost it. 
This man Gohan has lost it. He's gone off the deep end. And he will not stop until he gets what he wants, like the spoiled brat he is. Someone's gotta stop Gohan. Or else this is just gonna get even worse. Sick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Impulse 37, and I'm still disgusted by the actions that Gohan just made before the commercial break. We were just getting to the opening contest, the Cruiserweight style action match between Chow Tzu and Dennis, and out of nowhere, not even like a minute into the match, Gohan comes out of nowhere and attacks Chow Tzu and Dennis, causing no contest in that match, and then Gohan gets on the mic and talks about how he's going to get his answer, he's going to get what he wants from Goku, whether people like it or not. And somebody's got to stop Gohan, because if Gohan continues to do these kind of things without anyone stopping him, this problem's only going to get worse if it hasn't already. I have no idea what else to expect from Gohan tonight, but it can't be good, and it won't be good. It just, it just makes me ashamed that we have a spoiled draft for an Impulse Champion. And he's talented, that's the thing that bothers me, he's talented, he has great charisma, he's a person that People can truly get behind and they did when he was a part of D-Generation X. But he took the easy way out. He took the cheap way out. He took the corporate sellout way out. And he and now he's just he's, he's almost unrecognizable to what we used to know about Gohan. Someone even the, some of the viewers are calling him Hollywood Gohan. All you gotta do is switch the G and the H of Gohan and that'll be Hogan. It's that simple. Nonetheless, I have no idea what else is going to go down tonight, but something has to be done very quickly. So we're going to try to move on from that, and we're going to move on to this next match. We're going to be going one-on-one -on -one against the television champion, Mugen. A non-title matchup. This should be very interesting for Ryoma Edgerton. Ryoma Edgerton is more so of a cruiserweight himself. But due to him losing the Joe Agashi at Fusion in 2012, he can no longer challenge for the Cruiserweight title as long as Joe Agashi is the Cruiserweight champion. So this could be also a benefit for Ryoma now that he can maybe go for the television title before he's able to beat the television champion himself tonight. The time will tell. The bell rings and here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining us here for Impulse 37, wherever you may be around the world, in every state in the United States, where you may be in Canada, or in certain parts of Central and Latin America, in South America. We've got a lot of fans in the UK, France, Spain, Germany, oh man, Russia. A lot of fans in certain countries in Africa, other countries in Asia, obviously. I'll give some shout out to the people down under in Australia, New Zealand, and parts of the Fijian and Samoan Islands, the Philippines. Gotta get all my shout outs out, you know? But again, thank you all over the world for joining us for ACW here tonight. You guys, make sure you get Impulse 37 trending hashtag Impulse 37. Here's the cover. One. Ryoma kicks out at one. You get the hashtag tag, uh, trending uh, hashtag Impulse 37 wherever you may be on Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus, Instagram. Twitter, obviously, wherever social media and video share website you may be watching Impulse tonight. 
Oh, and a drop kick missed by Ryoma. Ryoma pushes back. Ryoma, what's he going for here? Oh, look at that. A nice tilt to roll arm drag. Nice neutral Libre style arm drag by Ryoma Edges. Ryoma Edges is bringing the fight to Mugen here in the early parts of this match. And Ryoma, another arm drag sends down the champ. Push Mugen to the corner here. Ryoma drop kicks Mugen from behind. Now, what's this? Ryoma on top. Oh, and a nice mule kick sends down Mugen. And Ryoma is working a storm on Mugen right now. Oh, misses that spinning wheel kick, however. But he continues with the kicks. And Ryoma's shaking his head. Ryoma still capitalizes on those kicks. Oh, Mugen with that knee to the face. And now Mugen will start trying to go to work in a clothesline onto Ryoma. Ryoma pushes with the legs. More kicks to the leg here. Mugen telling him nope. And that time he capitalized with the clothesline. Setting Ryoma down, but Ryoma right back up. Oh my goodness, a super kick of high elevated proportions by Ryoma. And a Hurakarana sends Mugen down, and Ryoma did not come here to half-ass anything. He came here to show that he could one day move to the ranks of television status. One, two, and a shoulder up by Mugen. That was a close two count, too. And, oh, look at that. Ryoma got the kick right to the back of Mugen's head, and now he's going to work on Mugen's arm a little bit here, possibly. Brings him back up. Mugen will push Ryoma. And a clothesline sends Ryoma back to the corner. Now Ryoma. And... Oh, and a snake eyes onto the corner of the turnbuckle, followed by a running bulldog. Very exciting matchup so far, and the crowd here in Hartford, Connecticut seem to agree with me there. And an elbow right to the face of Ryoma. Very impressed with Ryoma so far in this match. I, 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 gotta, I gotta wonder that Ryoma's film maybe a little bit of animosity too because it has been a... Oh! And a power bomb onto Ryoma by Mugen and a cover. One! Two! And Ryoma gets the kick out. But as I was trying to say, Ryoma's gotta feel a little bit of animosity. Like he hasn't been able to challenge for the Cruiserweight title in quite some time due to the stipulation that he can't until Joe Higashi is still the champion. So maybe this is a big break for Ryoma Edges in to really show the ACW crowd and a nice hurricane off the top turnbuckle. This is probably a nice way for Ryoma to reintroduce himself to the ACW audience by giving out a good performance on some Mugen here. One, two, and Mugen with a shoulder up. That's from Mugen. Mugen has been a very uh, commendable television champion. Oh! And Ryoma went for a high elevated assault there, but did not capitalize to get enough of Mugen. And Ryoma with a suplex onto Mugen onto the table here. Look at this again. Suplex Mugen onto the Japanese announce table. Haruko and Toja are not pleased. But I mean, what are they going to do about it, really? Let's be honest. And Ryoma with a nice clothesline from the ropes. Whoa, rope break. As I was trying to say, Mugen has also been a very formidable television champion ever since winning that title from Broly a couple of years back. He was the first man to give Broly his first loss here in ACW Impulse. Now, yes, that was due to some interference with Trunks as well, but still, the history books will show that he defeated Broly one-on-one -on -one and gave him his first loss as Ryoman with a nice moonsault. Goes quickly for the cover. One, two. Oh, and a shoulder up by Mugen. And it was also Mugen at Apocalypse that gave Sagat his first loss as well, defeating the undefeated streak of Sagat and retained his television title. But Sagat is not pleased. He felt that Mugen won that via a fluke. Oh, the super kick yet again! And Ryoma's feeling the adrenaline, and he can be putting him away here. Will he? Yes, he will! Game, set, match! On to Mugen! But wait, Ryoma doesn't go for the cover here. Ryoma, shooting star press missed! And that was a mistake from Mu that was a mistake by Ryoma. It had to be. And look at this now, Mugen. Oh my goodness! He turned an inverted suplex into the kendo. And Mugen, Ryoma's busted open. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why Mugen is the television champion. One, two, three, and that'll be it. And Mugen will win this match here tonight on Impulse 37. And Ryoma put on a one hell of a showcase. He put on one hell of an effort. But it was too much to overcome with a guy like Mugen, who was the television champion. Sagat still trying to gun for that title. 
and also rumors of Gara trying to go for that title as well. So Mugen has no rest. He has a target right behind his back. And he understands that very well. But if we know Mugen like we know Mugen, he will keep that title for as long as he can. Let's take a look at the replay here. Turned an inverted suplex into a kendo. And that was all he needed to get the win there. And Mugen celebrating with the crowd here. The crowd and look at this. Gara on top of the stage here. Giving a little bit of a rumor that he may be gunning for Mugen's title. Look at this. Oh, wow. Very, very interesting. Welcome back to Impulse 37 and Gohan, during the commercial break, found Rin of all people backstage and is just attacking him for no reason. And this is just continuing Gohan's barrage of doing whatever the hell he feels like tonight. Oh, and I'm a single onto the freaking concrete floor out here. This is, this is getting out of control. This is getting out of hand. Gohan is just, oh my god, wait a minute, not, not, not onto the back. Oh my god. Someone has to stop Gohan. This has gotten out of control. Goku, where the hell are you? Where the hell is Goku? I respect Goku and I even like him, but for him to just ignore what is going on with Gohan here tonight is baffling and is uncharacteristic. Gohan, you're the Impulse General Manager. Do something. I don't give a damn if that's your son or not. Do something. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier this week, Trunks put out the challenge that he wanted a handicap match against the likes of Vegeta and Broly of the same regime. I still question why he would do such a thing. I question why would he even put himself through this kind of punishment, I guess, for himself, but... I guess Trunks wants to make the statement known that he is ready for his father, Vegeta, at no boundaries. But is this doing too much? Is this doing too much for someone like Trunks to overcome or something like this? We'll find in a few seconds, but here comes Gohan's cronies, his partners in crime. The same regime of Vegeta and Broly. That is one unholy alliance with or without Gohan. Despite that, Vegeta and Trunks will have their encounter one-on-one -on -one at no boundaries. It's coming up in a few weeks' time. Trunks and Vegeta have been waiting to 
let their frustration and tension between each other for so many years finally come ahead. All of Texas had no boundaries. And then you gotta deal with that big behemoth of a Saiyan and Broly. Despite Trunks defeating Broly two years ago at Fusion, that's the same Broly that put Trunks out of action for almost three years. So, and look at that, Vegeta tagging in Broly right now. You know Vegeta has wants no part of, Bro of uh, Trunks right now, heading into no boundaries. But Trunks will try to take on the challenge here, and here we go. We're going to find out if Trunks accepting and putting out this challenge was an ideally good thing or stupid. We will find out as Trunks is right now giving the fight to Broly here. Trunks really revisiting their match here. And look at that, a nice arm drag onto a big man like Broly. And look at that, Vegeta trying to grab onto Trunks already early in this match. And that is something Trunks needs to be careful of. Oh, and a knee to the gut on Trunks. And here we go. Here we go. That's Broly. Irish of Trunks to the corner here. And a clothesline sends Trunks down with that such power. Now Broly has taken control here. Look at this. Oh, and a belly to belly. Broly just with those big hands that he uses to fight. Oh, and just runs him down. And now Broly here, side headlock onto Trunks. And oh, and a knee right into the face. And this could be very bad. Look at this! Vegeta out of nowhere! Coming out of turn here, attacking Trunks! And like the coward he is, look at this! A double tag team maneuver onto Trunks! And like the coward Vegeta is, attacking Trunks when Trunks wasn't looking. Here's the cover. One. Go on a kick out. That's exactly why Vegeta didn't want to deal with Trunks early in this match. He knows better. He doesn't want to face the humiliation of getting defeated and beaten down by Trunks before their encounter at no boundaries. Look at that. Look at Vegeta. Look at Vegeta yet again. Trying to insert himself to distract Trunks. But Trunks knows better. Irish whip. Oh, and an elbow to the face of Broly. And Trunks, elbow drop sends Broly down again. Close light sends Broly down. And Trunks doing a good job trying to fight and keep Broly down. Because even though Trunks is very more super than the average human, he has to know that Broly is the legendary Saiyan and he's just bigger and stronger. And takes Vegeta down off the apron. But Broly from behind. Trunks took his eye off the ball there. And close lines Trunks down. Now Broly will Irish trip Trunks over the top rope. And Trunks go to the outside. And it looks like Trunks is going to be inserted into the lion's den here. Look at that Vegeta attacking Trunks. Yeah, yeah, that's a very honorable saying. Am I right? What's this? Vegeta has Trunks up here. Oh, my God! Look at this again. A fallaway slam onto the Japanese announce table. That is the second time. That is the second time tonight that table has been destroyed. I mean, bless our ninja team of production uh, staff, but yeah, I don't think how to go and told you are happy today. But I don't care. And Trunks is bleeding from that table spot, and that was sick. Again, this is what Vegeta does best. Takes an opportunity and capitalizes on it at any way possible. Look at that, look at that gash onto the forehead of Trunks, and now Vegeta cheering on Broly doing that Mexican surfboard stretch onto Trunks. But Trunks able to will his strength to take Broly out of the game there. And chops his Broly to the corner and a punch. And then, oh no. And Broly sends it to the corner. And another clothesline. More of a Larry to almost be heading Trunks off his shoulder there. This is only going to get worse. I mean, and I buy worse, I mean worse for Trunks. Oh, oh, and now Vegeta wants to get tagged in. Now Vegeta wants to get in the ring with Trunks. How convenient. Now Vegeta wants to... Oh, look at that. He's going to go for the cover quickly. One. Two. Go oh, and a shoulder up by Trunks. That was a close three count. A close potential three count. And now Vegeta's going to take advantage of a weakened, bloody Trunks. And Broly... Yanks the top rope down and sends Trunks to the outside again. 
Gita thinking twice about going off the air there, but the Trunks is in big trouble. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, boy, just taking him down like he was nothing. And now look at them both stomping on the Trunks. Can we get some order and decorum here, referee? This is not good. I, I, I truly think Trunks should, re should have regretted this challenge. Because this is just not, this is just not in his favor. Trunks is a very extraordinary man, but you're dealing with two black-hearted saints here in Vegeta and Broly. And that's not even counting Gohan. I, 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 I fully disagree that Trunks should have done this challenge earlier this week. I, I know he's trying to prove something here, but this is just ridiculous. And Trunks fighting back with a running bulldog. Maybe there is some life after all. Close on his father. Close on Vegeta again. And look at this. Trunk is fighting. How does he do it? And Trunks. Twirling neck breaker. And an elbow drop. And he saw Broly there. And Broly goes down. And Vegeta goes down. And Trunks is fighting, folks. The cover. One. Two, and a kick out by Vegeta. Now Broly's back in the ring here. Running Bulldog onto Vegeta. Elbow to the back of the head. And Trunks takes Broly down, and Broly goes down with the clothesline. Trunks is literally fighting for his life here. And now Trunks, another spinning neck breaker. And Vegeta... I don't, th I don't think this is what he had planned. Here's a Northern Lights suplex pin. One, two, and a shoulder up by Vegeta. And Vegeta possibly regretting that he's in the ring with his own son that is looking for vengeance for all the years that Vegeta had to put onto the trunks. Look at this, Vegeta up top here. Oh no, double X hand reversed into a backbreaker. And a leg drop to follow up onto that backbreaker. And Broly goes down with the clothesline. Trunks is fighting. How does he do it? And it's waiting for Vegeta here. Oh, look, look at this. What is this? Vegeta. Jumping pile driver onto Vegeta. Now Vegeta can join Trunks in bleeding. And it looks like we're getting the T driver now. Oh, and Broly broke it up. Vegeta better think it's like he's starting. Oh, wait a minute. I might have spoke too soon here. Vegeta's going to get what he deserves. Oh, a T-Driver onto Vegeta. Oh, and Broly is in the ring. Oh, man. And Trunks is for the cover. One, two, three. Oh, shoulder up at the last real second. Had Broly not been a distraction, Trunks could have immediately won for the cover and possibly won this match by some good grace. But it's a game of chess with the same regime. They always have something planned. And Trunks has to be aware of it. Now Trunks. Close lines Broly down yet again off the apron. And wait a minute. Tr Trunks has Vegeta off his ball here. Trunks had his focus. Oh, and a close line onto the leg. And Trunks took his eye off the ball with Vegeta. Final flash. Final flash! Onto Trunks and now he tags in Broly. What is this now? Oh my god. Oh no, to add more insult to injury. The Omega! Onto Trunks! And Trunks is out! And now Broly tags in with you. Now what? You have got to be kidding me! Three! Get the hell out of here with that! Vegeta! Picking up the scraps Broly laid out for him and got the three count over his over his son Trunks. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. But ladies and gentlemen, is that gonna be the ending we're gonna see between Vegeta and Trunks come through his time at no boundaries? Look at that, look at this replay, the German power driver, and then Trunks had it with a T driver, but ultimately. The final flash of the Omega put away Trunks for good, and Vegeta picking up the scrap Broly laid out for him. That's the same regime for you. And if someone like Goku cannot stop the same regime right here and right now, 
that Impulse is in a lot of trouble. I promise you that. Pathetic. Gentlemen, welcome back to Impulse 37. And before the commercial break, uh, apparently Chi Chi made Goku aware that he came, she came out here tonight simply to address Gohan and his recent actions. Maybe, maybe Chi Chi might get it done. Because apparently Goku feels like this is a big problem. Yet it is. Maybe Chi Chi's the one that can make knock some sense into him. Go, go we don't know. We're gonna find out. Let's hear what Chi Chi has to say right here and right now.
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't even have the audacity to let his own mother finish what she was trying to get across or what point she was trying to make. No, that wasn't going to be convenient for the Impulse Champion Gohan. You know, every single week I have to see Gohan and the way he just conducts business and the way he tries to implement actions. I get sick and tired of seeing him every single week and I know some of the fans and viewers watching tonight agree with me. The fact that Gohan just had to come out here and interrupt his own mother. It's pretty deplorable if you ask me. And Chi Chi, and I know Chi Chi is her, her, her mother, but still, I, I, I'd, be, I'd let her be careful. Unbelievable. What a sick human being that Gohan is. He just called his mother a bitch. What is he talking about now? Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chi Chi, get out of there. Chi Chi, get out of there. Gohan is, Gohan has lost it. He snapped. Oh my god. Get him, get him out of there. Someone get... Here comes Goku! There's Goku! That's right, take out the trash! What a pathetic human being for a son to go after his father and his mother! And now Goku has the mic! Oh, oh, oh my god! Goku versus Gohan! No boundaries, no excuses, no limitations! I'm telling you right now, Gohan is about to get the biggest beating of his life at the hands of his own father, Goku!